Hello everyone, Ali is here from Sofi Financial Network and today we, we are going to talk about technology stocks and uh, this is just a weekly update. Alright, so let's start with Facebook, Facebook monthly um, chart. And if you remember last time we just uh, come up with this wave count and I told you exactly here is a pretty solid support area for monthly chart and even in weekly chart as well so last week I'm going back to monthly again but last week we had very very nice um, retracement here all the way coming back up down there and then test this SMA 200 on the weekly basis coming to this wide range bar and then retrace back up but today stock just open and sharply sell off all the way down here and it just broke the SMA 200 on the weekly basis still we are at the beginning of the week but it is ugly sell off so we cannot uh, we cannot justify it any way that you want to slice it and dice it this is very very massive ugly sell off for the Facebook okay at the beginning of the week again going back to the monthly and if you see here in monthly chart we are getting back to um, 50 SMA on the monthly chart as well so this area is I would say this is very very strong support and if we break down that would uh, drag Facebook all the way down to 200 and probably 193 so this is the level that I'm expecting for the downside if this week Again, I'm just emphasizing this week we are getting to um, below this, we are closing below this SMA 50 and also that SMA uh, 200 on the weekly chart. Um, so again, if we break down, then we are going to see this area. I'm not sure uh, if you have seen, if you have experience about this for the wave count. Sometimes wave 4 is extended to wave 1 shadow and then coming back up so it can happen there is there is nothing wrong with that wave count but ideally and uh, and textbook wave count is going to be wave 4 supposed to be above wave 1 on 61.8 Fibonacci retracement so if we put it like a Fibonacci here here is the here is the Fibonacci retracement here is the bottom of the Facebook right so this bottom of the Facebook right now 618 is going to be here right so 618 is going to be here so we are going all the way back down here into wave 2 and uh, this 38 percent we are at 50 percent 50 percent is going to be here so I would say <clears throat> I would say 50 percent is a fair possibility that we can test which is 200 round number again and sometimes price is stretch down a little bit and here is the trend line so look at this trend line so trend line here pivot here pivot here and this one so this is the worst case scenario for Facebook that I'm looking at I'm not to be honest I'm surprised how Facebook is demolished like the last week and this week Facebook just demolished look at that this candle for the monthly this is the worst February for the Facebook ever you haven't seen any of this uh, volatility in Facebook in a monthly candle from the beginning of the Facebook 2012 till now this is the most bullish candle that you can count or you can remember this one but this is like there are tons of resistance in a downward um, if Facebook just settled here and then tons of resistance going up um, it's gonna encounter to this candle so uh, this is this is very important okay and uh, if you look at to weekly chart here so um, so weekly chart again the same thing so here is the here is the area so 181 to 192 again 50 percent is going to be 200 so 200 is going to be a very very nice support for the Facebook or for the Facebook if you are going down all the way down here to be honest I'm waiting for here to just uh, get the last shot for the Facebook I have more than 5% 6% in my portfolio so even I would add more 
if if you are getting down there. So, uh, but uh, but this is this is the type of investment. If you uh, if you just uh, uh, some people are uh, technical analysis say don't uh, get involved with a, like a falling knife because that's going to cut your hand. But based on the value investing, you are going to add or buy in the dip for the good valuable stocks, right? So Facebook is one of those, and I believe this one, um, this area, some, somewhere around here, so 181 to 200, that's going to be a fair possibility of the good support for the Facebook. Okay. Um, if you go to daily chart, again, nothing to say because daily chart is is absolutely demolished. Look at that. So here is here is the area for the daily chart. I gave 198 to 2 to uh, 210. So that is going to be a good possibility for support here. Again, uh, we should we should take a look at Facebook. Probably it comes down next next few days. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go to Amazon. The next one, an interesting one. All right, so in in Amazon, if you remember, we just uh, come up with technical analysis at the end of the anal at the end of the video, and here is the trend line. Here is the trend line when Amazon just went down. You see how sharply it goes down, and after hitting this demand area, a very nice demand area, just uh, bouncing back up there. So this bounce. I don't know if this is dead cat bounce or so, but as you see, when we are getting to this pivotal point, it reacts to this trend line. Here is the SMA and also the crossover, the type of the moving average on the daily chart kind of worries me just because they're all going downward. This is a crossover for the 50 to 150 and 200. So this is this is not a good shape. This is not a good shape at all. I don't like this uh, type of um, formation in moving averages. But we should see if this price, I would say, if the price goes back up again, ideally above this trend line and ideally above this SMA 50, and hold it. If it holds there, so we can say, okay, Amazon is going back to the momentum. Um, price action because sometimes especially in this market in this sloppy and choppy market since July 2020 Amazon didn't do anything basically it's just going sideways choppy consolidation and then coming down but again if price goes above 3200 and 3260 is SMA 50 and hold above it then we can say uh, Amazon is coming back to the to the consolidation and probably it can go higher but before that we can't we can't say anything it is it is in downtrend and this can be just a dead cat bounce I don't know Amazon is a strong company earning was a strong today was positive even with sell-off uh, ugly sell-off just the last half an hour you see this is a shooting a star on the top this is a topping tail just testing this one I'm not sure if it goes down tomorrow or this week but but this is not ugly. Uh, this is not a beautiful uh, price action today. I would say this is just if it consolidates here. That's uh, there is another possibility. If it consolidates here, so it seems like it's gonna go higher. But if it doesn't, if it goes back down, I would say probably Amazon going re retest here or probably coming to 2400, as it as I was mentioning in uh, in my technical analysis in the previous video for Amazon especially for Amazon okay so the next one is Microsoft Microsoft is a pretty nice stock it has a very very good earning and look at that when Microsoft goes down there so we bought it and the price after that just going higher and higher right now it's at above at 300 which is above um, SMA 200 SMA 200 on the daily chart but if you go to the monthly chart I would like to show you something. If you go to monthly chart, Microsoft didn't uh, pull back very much along with the other stocks. Still, it is in uptrend, right? So this one, two, uh, one, two, one, two pullback, even this one is very good one. It is in COVID crash. Just test that 220 uh, SMA, right? And the good thing for Microsoft here, look at this EMA 21, the dashed line EMA 21 is above this SMA 20 
So this is kind of like educational purpose, right? Is above SMA 20, and still it is above SMA 20. This means we have a good bullish momentum on the higher time frame, right? Still, um, moving averages are doing very, very well. Stock is doing well. It was overstretched a little bit. It was overpriced. Right now it is pulling back down, but uh, if it holds here, I would say above this uh, wide range bar, Microsoft can go higher. Even if it consolidates here, it can't go higher. So it's kind of like a digesting uh, last parabolic move to the upside. And here is the thing. Here is the weekly chart. I just want to change the change the template. All right. So here is the weekly chart. I would like to say weekly chart. We had very very nice support on the SMA uh, on SMA 50. Now look at this. I know we just pierced below this pivot, but it goes back up again. It goes back up above a 42 EMA. And here is the crossover on the on the momentum, stochastic momentum. This is very beautiful setup, right? So since um, here, this consolidation, and here, we didn't get any negative reading on the stochastic. But right now we have um, crossover over in oversold area, which is pretty nice, right? On the weekly chart, and it has like a deeper correction. It's like a sizable correction, like, like a COVID crash, I would say. So uh, just because price is going up, no one pay attention, but the size of the crash or correction, so we call this one as a crash, but this one is a correction. And at the both times, you see, price goes down here just a below SMA, two, uh, SMA, five, SMA 50 on the weekly chart, and then coming back up again. So here just pierce it to the SMA 50 and then backing up again. Uh, I would say Microsoft is very strong among the other FANG stocks. And uh, Next one is Apple. All right, so Apple uh, holding up pretty well. So it doesn't correct uh, a lot, but when it corrects, when markets sold off, so it just bounces up. Very, very nice. So it is kind of like holding above all of the moving averages. So Apple is very strong. 171 so just uh, goes here to uh, 154 155 and then bounce back up and it is like 15 15 dollar above uh, above this correction which is pretty good for apple apple is very strong um three um three trillion dollar market cap company so it is very strong it is a big weight in s p in dow jones in nasdaq so apple is is kind of like a um, index by itself, right? So Apple, uh, I just forgot to say about the other time frames, but Apple, weekly chart, there is nothing wrong, to be honest. It, as I said, it is very strong, and uh, and uh, one, uh, once it tests SMA 20, it just bounces back up again. So if, even it didn't reach out to the SMA 50 on the weekly per uh, weekly chart, right? So lots of a stock like a Microsoft, we just analyze it. So here is uh, here is the level for Apple. Uh, we can go. Um, I would expect actually this one goes here to 148. You see, you see my my line there. So even it didn't go down there. It just uh, goes um, test 160, 155. SMA 20 in one week and then coming back up again. So that was a Black Monday, <laughs> the new Black Monday. All right, so let's go to Alphabet Google, uh, another nice one. All right, so Google last week, uh, price goes back up all time high, right? So this is all time high. So obviously people are gonna just take a profit, but here is the thing. We just have like an all time high after this consolidation. What's the reading? Reading here is just a crossover from oversold condition. MACD is very, very oversold. Um, RSI is above 50. It's just going back test. Today, Google had a sharp sell-off. So I would say, um, let's go to daily. So here is the last three days, last four days for Google. So when it goes up again, uh, all-time high, it comes back down. Price is going up, shooting a star coming back down. So probably it's going to close the gap. When it closed the gap, 
uh, I would say Google is gonna settle here somewhere here so I'm not expecting prices going back down all the way down to here I'm just expecting prices kind of like a settle here in this area so two seven uh, two hundred uh, twenty seven fifty or something that's gonna be a good level for Google to to settle right and also it has like a 20 uh, versus 1 split uh, which is gonna be effective uh, in July and that is going to be good uh, opportunity for people if they buy a stock right now so they will have 20 stocks down the road right so that is for Google and the next one I would like to talk about Adobe uh, just because this one is my favorite as well Adobe is kind of like hanging around here and this uh, resembling like a kind of reverse head and shoulder and to be honest this is reverse head and shoulder just because we have divergence between these two pivots right so Adobe needs to hold this area if it holds this area and if it goes back up again needs to close above one daily candle above 536 if it goes above one 536 then Adobe can go all the way up to here. So 588 is going to be fair possibility in very, very uh, short term. But again, um, when you see moving averages in Adobe, it is it is ugly, to be honest. It is There is nothing uh, beautiful that we can say about Adobe. Just because all the moving averages are crossover. And it's like, as you see, we have like, what's the percentage from the top? For Adobe, if you just measure it down there, so Adobe has uh, just go down there. So 31% correction. This is this is pretty um, uh, pretty massive for a stock, right? So 31% correction is is not um, is not a correction. It is kind of like a crash for Adobe. But this happens, you know, when when a stock uh, index like S&P or Nasdaq goes. Uh, below 15% or something into correction so most of the stocks are going down to 31% 40% as I said before All right okay um, here is the weekly wrap for technology stocks if you have got any comments please make sure that put your comments down there I'm gonna reply back all and if you like our videos please just uh, give us thumbs up if you're not subscribed to our channel please do just right now All right. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.